Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a print quality uh, video. Um, this is probably going to be the last video I'm going to do on Simple Core Redux for a couple of weeks. Uh, I want my new FunSore frame to come in and I'm going to be rebuilding the printer and I'll do like input shaping and all that kind of stuff afterwards. But I wanted to show off the print quality of the printer right now as it sits. Um, I did switch over to the Galileo 2 extruder, which helped out my print quality quite a bit. Seems like my HGX light was causing me some issues. So I printed a few parts here with my new setup. Um, and like I say, I'll probably make another video in a couple weeks showing off the printer with the new frame and a couple tweaks here and there. So firstly, I have printed off the Polymaker Scientist. This is one of my favorite prints. Um, it's a really cool model, and I think you can see here that this is at 0.16 layer height. Uh, the print quality is quite nice. I'm very happy with how this printed. Again, I still have some tuning to do. Um, I re need to rerun input shaping now that I'm using direct drive and Galileo 2 and stuff, but it doesn't make sense for me to do that when I'm completely taking the whole printer apart and rebuilding it, but this is already very, very nice. So very happy with that. Um, I also like to print out bright minis on printables. This is a 200% scale bright mini. Again, you can see the detail on this model, how well this prints. Very, very happy with how this looks. So very, very nice model, very nice quality. And again, I'm trying to print with like normal gray filament to show as many defects as possible. Here's a watch stand that I printed. Again, this is at 0.6 layer height. My camera will focus on that. Uh, quality is quite nice. Again, I don't really have much input shaping. Uh, pressure advance is fully dialed in and flow rate and stuff like that. You can see my first layer is quite nice using Beacon. So really nice there. Um, before I show off any more models, I'd really like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video. PCB Way is not just a PCB manufacturer. They offer CNC, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. Let's take a look at their 3D printing service. You can simply upload your STL file. Let's uh, do a simple core Redux part and let's do a a4T bamboo cowl. We choose our quantity of one. Let's do ABS. You can choose some colors here and we can go ahead and order this ABS part printed for us by PCB Way. If you need help with your next project, check out PCB Way for more. All right, now this is a mechanical part for a printer that I'm designing. Again, um, I'm printing at 0.6 layer height. You can see some VFAs and stuff like that. Again, no input shaping or I, I have input shaping on this, but uh, it's from when I was using Bowden, I think. You can see here, this port part started to lift off the bed. That's why we have that artifact right there. But uh, under this harsh lighting and with this filament, um, you can see the, the print quality uh, it looks quite nice in person, but again, all this gray is going to show these defects off um, like that. I'll do more print quality testing and stuff like that. Again, once I uh, rebuild the printer and actually am able to do proper input shaping, but you can see like organic models and such like this, uh, it, it prints really, really nice. I also printed out a partial Rolo rocket. Um, again, it, it looks really great. My slicer, I still need to do a bunch of tuning. Uh, this caught on the nozzle and it came off the bed, but um, you can see how nice this is printing. So the plan going forward here is reassemble the printer using my FunSore frame. Um, I am going to be upgrading to premium 80 tooth pulleys. These are very high quality uh, 80 tooth pulleys. My printed ones are working. Um, I just want to make sure everything's hundred percent and I have these 80 tooth pulleys. So I'm going to upgrade them. 
I may also upgrade my Y rails to some Berserker rails from West 3D. If you guys are interested in building this printer, you're in the United States or you want high quality parts, check out West 3D. I have an affiliate link in the description below. Um, it doesn't cost you anything extra and it really helps out the channel. So, you know, we're getting a brand new frame. We're getting a very accurate premium 80 tooth pulleys. I might get some really nice Y linear rails. Uh, if you've seen my previous videos, you know all the struggles that I've been having with my rails trying to sit flat on the extrusions. And they may be deformed and all that kind of stuff. So I, I kind of want to just start fresh um, and make sure everything's as good as uh, possible. Overall though, there's nothing wrong with the design of this printer. Everything is exactly how I want it and everything's working very well, but I made some poor choices when I ordered parts and uh, I kind of have to rectify those. So that's why I ordered the FunSore frame with blind joints and proper 2020 extrusions. And uh, other than that, like I say, I'm happy with everything. Beacon is working very, very well. You can see my first layers uh, are printing very well on my models. Um, I've showed this one off in the past here. Uh, this part was printed. Um, this is like one of the um, tools for Simple Core. This was printed on this printer using the HGX Lite. Uh, so please take note of that. Here is the exact same part printed on my X1 Carbon. Um, so you can see, again, if we can focus here, you can see it's very similar. Almost all printers have VFAs. The X1 Carbon is no different. I know the industry is finally starting to catch on a little bit with VFAs, but we're running toothed belts on smooth idlers here. We're gonna have VFA. Um, it's not really a big deal on, on, on uh, organic parts like models and things like that. On very flat surfaces, of course, you're gonna see it. And depending on the color of your filament, you're gonna see it even more. So we'll, we'll do some more uh, print show-offs once I actually reassemble the printer and go from there. But uh, I, I'm quite happy with the printer already. Uh, the parts seem accurate and the print quality is accept acceptable to me. Um, but I don't wanna stop here. I wanna dial it in further. And to do that, I, I need to make sure the printer is assembled as good as possible. So uh, I may do some live streams on, you know, assembling my FunSore frame and taking all the parts from this and moving them over to that frame, um, putting new pulleys in the Z and, and all that kind of stuff. It shouldn't be very difficult to do. I can use my config. I'm gonna try to like remove my back panel and just lay it uh, set it aside and then kind of bolt it back up to the new frame as far as like electronics and stuff go. Um, we'll see how that goes. Try to do as minimal work as possible, but I really want to make sure the frame's rigid. Um, everything's mounted nice and flat and, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, as I said, overall, I hope people are uh, starting to look at the files, start print some, file, some things out and start assembling this printer. Uh, definitely check out my discord in the description below if you want to, uh, start playing around with this printer. It's uh, it, it's just a great 220 by 220 uh, standard size, beginner, medium size-ish, I guess, uh, 3D printer. Check out my playlist for Simple Core. I have all these videos in my playlist. I'm also gonna add all the live streams into the playlist as well. So you'll see a Simple Core Redux playlist. If you like uh, printers like this, if you like videos like this, Definitely check out my Patreon. Um, if you're interested in supporting the channel, join my Patreon. It really, really helps me build printers like this. I ended up having to order a lot of parts for this printer. Um, so this printer was like six, $700 Canadian for me to actually prototype this and make sure everything was working well. And again, I still have parts to order, right? I just ordered a $130 frame um, and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, my Patreon definitely helps me do these printer builds and, and build prototypes. So really appreciate everyone watching. Definitely uh, check me out over on Discord. We have a really great community over there. And uh, I'll catch you guys all later.